What's up everybody? So it is Tim and I am back here at the shop working on the truck. So I got the proper fittings that I needed for the air dump valve on the back of the truck for the airbags. I go ahead and get those put on today. I'm going to take off the temporary setup that I had. I did put it all together and tested it in the last video just to make sure the truck would raise and lower. I have the fittings that we need. Let's see, here's the old valve. That's the one that came off the truck. It's always a good idea to have a few extra uh, fittings on hand on a truck. So I got a couple of straight fittings. I got some right angle fittings, 90 degree elbows. I've got some 45s and uh, just got a bunch of different stuff in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this fifth wheel plate lifted up out of the way, move the truck forward and see if we can go ahead and start putting these on that, uh, that valve. All right, got enough clearance now. Um, as long as this clears this ball on the back, then we're good. Uh, let's get the truck cranked up. It's been a few days, so hopefully it'll start right up. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the switch to where the airbags are down so it doesn't lift up to where the fifth wheel plate is. Um, so I got my dump valve down and I'm just going to give it a second. I've got to get enough air pressure in the brakes to release the spring brakes and then I can move forward. I've actually got cruise control on this truck and what it does it just adjusts your engine RPM. So we'll turn the cruise on and then you'll notice as I start bumping this that my idle speed will actually start increasing. We'll put that right at about a thousand. That way the truck will air up a little quicker so we can hurry up and move it. Because all I need to do is move it about four feet so I can get up from under that lift. The engine hoist is actually kind of in the gravel and it's, it'd be a pain to try to roll it. So we're just going to pull the truck forward instead. Alright, got the truck moved forward and everything. We're clear of the fifth wheel plate and the engine hoist. Now we can go ahead and get that, uh, that dump valve with the correct fittings done. All right, so that's where I installed the new dump valve, but as you can see, my uh, um, my Frankenstein connections, as I call them. So I'm going to go ahead and take this whole thing out, disconnect the lines again, and we'll put the new fittings on. All right, now I went ahead and put some pipe joint compound on the fittings. That way they uh, hopefully won't leak in here. Just go ahead and start them in by hand, and then we'll wrench them all down. Okay, so I've got the valve right here. As you can see, I've got everything connected. We'll test it in a minute with some soapy water that I'll spray on there. But uh, I've got a, uh, a little mounting hole right there. I'm just gonna use that. We'll just do a single mounting hole. There's not really gonna be much tension on this trying to move it, but as long as we end up liking this location, I'll probably come back and drill another hole where we can have two mounting bolts. But for now, we'll just see how well it holds and, and see what we can do with it. So we'll put us a washer, a lock washer, and a nut. All right, got that all tightened down. I think we're good. All right, now I've just got to crank it up. I'm gonna go get my soapy water to spray on here. We're gonna crank it up, pressurize the system, spray it with soapy water, see if we see any bubbles, and then we'll know we're good. So far, so good. I'm gonna leave the truck running so the batteries can charge up. But uh, yeah, we got it. Dump valve works, it raises and lowers. I don't see any leaks or anything. I'm gonna put the fifth wheel plate back on and I'm gonna call it a day. Whew. All right, we got it done. That's one thing done. That's a, that's a small goal I was wanting to accomplish this week, a task I was wanting to complete. You know, it's good for you to, to set yourself some little goals, some little tasks, things that are easily reachable, especially. I, I learned when I was teaching at school, it's good for people to, to set themselves little goals or if someone sets a goal for you or a task or something for you to complete. It really, I, I know sometimes you have to push yourself to get up to do it. We've had COVID and everything. I've been so exhausted lately, but just getting out and doing little stuff like this really makes me feel better. And you know, it's good for your mental health too. If you have a small, easily accomplishable, easily, I don't know if that's a word, a goal that's easy to complete, a task that you know you can achieve, get out there, do it. It'll make yourself feel better. It just kind of makes your whole week better, really, to know you accomplished something you've been wanting to do and to say, yeah, I did that, I did that. And if you haven't, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified of future videos so you can stay in touch with us. Oh, look at that. We got some undercover action going on, boys. Always something in Laurel. Anyway, y'all have a great week. Thanks. Bye.